I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny, Sonny Featherland, an investigator for 20 years, and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. Still, what do I expect? We're living in a vast experiment and don't even notice that everything got clucked up a long time ago. We believe in this wonderland of peaceful coexistence. Wolves and sheep, chickens and hounds. Yeah, sure, why not? It's just ridiculous. The dog eats the chicken. It's in our nature. I'm not propping up the illusion anymore. 121 days, and it's over. Retirement. What could possibly go wrong? Crap. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes, older than this ancient building, and perhaps the whole city itself. Or maybe I'm just drunk. But she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time, so I had to give her a chance. I don't even know what these papers are. Every whiskey has the same color nowadays, at least in this price range. I promised myself I'd write a novel one day. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real, the badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine, so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal.
murky brown swell. I should improve my standards. books I'm never going to read. Maybe nobody ever has. We used to be star cops a few years ago. Tabloid press, radio interviews, and even a book series. I don't miss those days. Of course, Marty, my old partner, would disagree. He just loved the spotlight. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. The good things in life don't last long. The best ones always leave first. I saw that in the window of a shoe store. I never understood it, or what it had to do with shoes. God damn, what an embarrassing headline. The Wild Gentleman. Those guys rebuilt the city after the great fire of 867. My heroes when I was a little chick. I'm starting to think they should have left Clawville as it was, burned to the ground. M.B. Davis, the eternal king of jazz. The photo is from the days of jazz prohibition. I only heard the old man live one time, but I'll never forget that night. And not only because I woke up at the harbor without my gun, my badge, and my pants. I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. Behind that door lies the kingdom of dirty clothes, cigarette butts, and empty bottles. Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police, and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? I don't... I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one, and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So, maybe some sherry? If you insist. But bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, spill it from the beginning. <laughs> 